And if you are thinking of entering, what you need to know is that the junior competition is open to those aged 12, 13 or 14. You get yourself into the competition the same way as the adults do by heading over to our website, capetalk.co.za and playing the online general knowledge game for juniors. Hope more of you will do that because there are still three weeks to go in February. But for now, let's uh, hand over to our quiz master, John, as we prepare to put this week's winners through their paces. Morning, John. Morning, Bubba. Right, so we've got five juniors who've each won uh, around uh, earlier in the week and with it 1,000 Rand in prize money. Which means they are richer than I am at the moment. <laughs> And off to a good start. But uh, we're hoping to uh, top up their savings accounts by 3,000 Rand today. Now, uh, John, do you want to run through the rules before we introduce our first contest? They are very, very similar to the rules that the contestants have been used to during the week. The only significant difference is that instead of 60 seconds and 15 questions, we have a maximum of 90 seconds in which the contestants, if they answer correctly very quickly every time, could get through 25 questions, but otherwise it's exactly the same. Okay, so let me, without further ado, introduce you to our first contestant. Now, Matteo, welcome to you. Matteo Gush is 13 years old, turning 14 in July this year, which I think makes you our youngest semi-finalist, so well done for getting this far. Uh, he was Monday's junior brain of the day and lives in Monte Vista, where he's in uh, grade 8 at Edgemead High School. Uh, Matteo, how's high school going so far? Um, very good so far. Good, glad to hear it. Now, I believe this is your first attempt at playing the brain. It is, yes. Okay, and uh, are you feeling quite confident? I'm quite confident, yes. Okay, you're sounding it too. Um, I believe your favourite subjects are science and maths, but you also love spending your spare time reading and uh, playing the guitar as well. Um, so this is a bit of a, a different way to spend your Saturday morning. What would you normally be doing? Um, I would usually be on my laptop in the lounge playing games. <laughs> okay, well, if nothing else, we've got him off the screen for an half an hour or so. I believe there is a dream of a career either in finance or science at the end of, of the road. Yes. Okay. Well, let's get you started, Matteo. So as John's explained, you're going to get 90 seconds and up to 25 questions. Take it at your own pace and good luck to you. Okay. Uh, just a reminder that um, if people pass, I will give the answer. And if they pass the spelling question, I will spell out the word that they have chosen to pass so as not to give those would-be spellers uh, an, a, a disadvantage. Are you ready, Matteo? Yes. Sir. Then please, Mario, start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word adventure. A D V E N T U E R E. Correct. Complete the title of the movie, the one and only. Pass. Ivan, give the product of these two numbers, eight and five. Thirteen. Forty. True or false, Africa has a larger area than Antarctica. True. Correct. How many O's are there in the word controlling? Two. Correct. In what sport may goalkeepers stop headers with their hands? Soccer. Correct. Limo is a short word for what vehicle? Limousine. Correct. Give the past tense of the word C. Saw. Correct. What color is Princess Fiona in the Shrek movies? Green. Correct. Which country is in Southern Africa, Malawi or Uganda? Malawi. Correct. For which domestic bird is the word drake used? A duck. Correct. In what sport did Fuff de Klerk become famous? Cricket. Rugby. Which word is a noun, simply or sample? Simply. Sample. Complete the saying, it is as what as ABC? Easy. Correct. Which province is further east, northwest or KwaZulu-Natal? North KwaZulu-Natal. Correct. In movies, which famous detective is the brother of the movie character Enola Holmes? Watson. Sherlock Holmes. Which sport uses a bigger ball, squash or golf? Golf. Correct. In text messages, what does F2F stand for? You don't do text messages. Not really. Uh, face to face is what it stands for. Uh, the title of the movie, the one and only what? Um, I didn't know the movie. Pippa didn't know I didn't the movie. Know it either. Pippa's yeah. daughter, who's in matric, didn't know the movie. <laughs> Bruce doesn't know the movie. Mario didn't know the movie. So that was a tough one. It was in 20, it was a Disney movie of a couple of years ago based on a 2012 children's book, I'm told. The product of two numbers, um, the sum would have been 13. The product is the two numbers multiplied together, which would be 40. Um, otherwise, yeah, Faf de Klerk's rugby scrum half, famous for wearing Springbuck flag underwear, and simply is an adjective sample is the noun. But I think you did extremely well. 
You did indeed, uh, Matteo. Um, I, my count is 12 and the judges in the booth confer, so that's three of us all in agreement. A score of 12 is a very strong start indeed. Matteo, congratulations on setting the bar nice and high uh, in the first round. So that is um, where it stands, John, which means our four f- f- <laughs> coming contestants have got to get at least 12 to stay in the competition and force a sudden death. If they get 13 or outright, they then take the uh, current winner's chair. I just want to say that we've already got a WhatsApp in saying 8 plus 5 is 13. Did I hear John say 14 was correct? No, what you heard John say was that 40 is correct because the sum of 8 and 5 is 13. The product of 8 and 5 is 40. Correct. Sum means added, product means multiplied. Thanks for clarifying, John. Okay, let me get straight to our second contestant for the day and a very warm welcome to the studio to Amber Kohlhofer, who is 14 years old, will be turning 15 in June. So just snuck in under the age limit there. And uh, she was our brain of the day uh, for the juniors on Tuesday. Um, I believe, Amber, that you've had a a stab at the junior brain before. Is that correct? Uh, Yes, I did. (laughs) You played last year? Um, 2020. 2020. Okay. I'm really glad you came back again to give it another go. Now, um, you live in Sunningdale and you are in grade nine at Elkana House. Is that correct? Yeah, Elkana House. Elkana House. My apologies. <laughs> um, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. What are your favorite subjects at school? Uh, I love English. I love drama. I love acting. Okay. Um, biology is also a big one that I want to go into after school. I believe you are somebody who loves spending time outdoors, very keen on something like environmental studies. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Well, I hope we've got some uh, biological questions in the mix. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> but um, looking at the fact that she sings and plays the ukulele and the guitar, I think she would welcome musical questions. It sounds like yes. she'd welcome questions of just about any variety. So good luck to you, Amber. <laughs> Over to you. you, John. Amber, you need to get at least 12 to uh, make sure that we have, or potentially give us a sudden death round. 13 and more, you are the leader at this early stage. I'm afraid if you get fewer than 12 correct, then, um, well, you wouldn't have had a trip to Greenpoint for nothing because you got to meet Pippa Hudson. And and John (laughs) Matham. To get very, very close to somebody who strangely supports Liverpool, Mario. But never mind, we were not going there. Not after last night's Manchester United (laughs) performance. We are not going there. Let's not do that. Are you ready, Amber? Yes. Please, Mario, start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word agreement. A-G-R-E-E-M-E-N-T. Correct. Complete the movie title, Raya and the Last. Night. Dragon. Give the sum of these two numbers, 10 and 16. 26. Correct. True or false? Africa has more people than Europe. True. Correct. How many E's are there in the word between? Three. Correct. In what sport do eight forwards take part in a scrum? Rugby. Correct. Fab is a short word for which description? Fabulous. Correct. Give the past tense of the word here. Heard. Correct. What color is the cartoon character Casper the Friendly Ghost? White. Correct. Which country is in Southern Africa, Angola or Kenya? Kenya. Angola. For which farm animal is the word heifer used? Cow. Correct. In what sport did Kadlechum Pechla become famous? Rugby. Soccer. Which word is a noun, about or abdomen? Abdomen. Correct. Complete the saying, he is always as what as a bee? Happy. Busy. Which province is further north, Gauteng or Limpopo? Limpopo. Correct. In movies, who is the small blue animal that saves the world from Dr. Robotnik? Smurf. Sonic the Hedgehog. Which sport uses a heavier ball, tennis or cricket? Cricket. Correct. In text messages, what does the abbreviation IOW stand for? Pass. In other words, which country is in Africa, Guinea or Chile? Guinea. Correct. On which ocean, and we're not able to complete that question, uh, rare and the last... Dragon is again a movie of which I have not heard. I have so at least heard of it, but I have not seen it, John. heard of that one. And then we got everything right after that until Angola, which is in Southern Africa, and Kenya, which you said is actually in Eastern Africa. Katlejo Mpetla is a footballer, and he is always as busy as a bee. Did you know that Sonic the Hedgehog is the small blue animal that saves the I world? I did, John. I did. Where have you been? <laughs> In a very adult word for a world for a lot longer than you. Right, let's find out how Amber did. Well, congratulations, Amber. You have done it. You needed more than 12 to take the lead, and you've done it with a score of 13. So that makes you the current top of the leaderboard. Uh, and it means we say goodbye to our first contestant, Matteo, with thanks and uh, well done to him for, for being with us. But Amber takes the lead with a score of 13. 
Right. And uh, with that, that John, that means that uh, the bar has been nudged a little bit higher up and the current score to beat is 13. The person who is hoping that she might be able to do it is uh, our, our Wednesday junior brain of the day who is just settling into the studio. Her name is Nicole Mwembo Bin Mwembo and she is 14 years old, will be 15 in August. Uh, Nicole is from Athlone and is also in grade nine. Uh, you're at Good Hope Seminary High School. Yes. Congratulations so on making it this far, Nicole. Is it your Thank first you. time playing the Junior Brain? Yes, it is. Welcome and ha- ha- happy to have you with us in the studios. What are your favourite subjects at school? Um, I like natural science, history and um, art. Okay. We'll see if we can squeeze in a couple of, the, of those categories for you. Um, you're still only in grade nine, but do you have an idea of what you want to do after school? Yes, I would like to study either medicine or law. Okay, a lot of hard work to go, but uh, you're off to a good start in terms of the general knowledge that you'll need for those careers. Uh, I believe you're also a big reader. You spend a lot of the time time in the library. Yes. Okay, that always stands in good stead for the brain uh, competition, whether you're a junior or an adult. So, Nicole, once again, uh, Amber has set the, the bar at 13, which means you need a score of 13 to stay in the round. And uh, if you score 14 or more, then you will take up the spot at the top of the leaderboard. Good luck to you. Thank you. Uh, Nicole, don't get too set on medicine or law because um, those were my two choices when I finished matric in the last century or the previous century or the century (laughs) before that. I decided I had to decide between medicine and law. I chose medicine. I studied medicine for a few years and look where it's brought me, (laughs) working on Saturday mornings. So (laughs) think again. No, don't. Those are two wonderful professions. How confident are you feeling? Um, I'm pretty confident, but there's still that little um, anxiety. Okay, well, let's see if we can get rid of the anxiety and bump up the confidence. You need at least 13, as Pippa said. Mario, please start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word broadcast. B-R-O-A-D-C-A-S-T. Correct. Complete the movie title, Trolls What Twer. Pass. World. Give the product of these two numbers, seven and six. Um... 42. Correct. True or false? Africa has a larger area than Asia. False. Correct. How many E's are there in the word repetition? E, two. Correct. In what sport do competitors use the backstroke? Swimming. Correct. ID is a short word for which document? Um, identification. Correct. Give the past tense of the word bring. Brought. Correct. What color is the body of the cartoon character Daffy Duck? White. Black. Which country is in Southern Africa, Guinea or Zambia? Zambia. Correct. For which farm animal is the word stallion used? Horse. Correct. In what sport did Casta Semenya become famous? Athletic. Correct. Which word is a verb, claw or closely? C- claw. Correct. Complete the saying, the what is in your court? Ball. Correct. Which province is further south? Free State or Mpumalanga? Free State. Correct. In movies, about which famous doll is Big City Big Dreams? Bobby. Correct. Which sport uses a lighter ball, table tennis or squash? Table tennis. Correct. In text messages, what does the abbreviation IMO stand for? Pass. In my opinion, which country is in Africa, Eritrea or Ecuador? Did you know the answer, just as a matter of interest? Eritrea. Correct. But it is out of time. Um, The movies that we are asking our Junior Brain contestants about are movies that children of their age group are not seeing. So you've not heard of Trolls World Tour? I I have. Okay, well, I haven't. So I'm (laughs) I'm naught out of three for the (laughs) movies so far. Um, Otherwise, you did extremely well. Daffy Duck has a black body. And then up to uh, 17, which was the... Last question I was able to complete to you. You were doing extremely well. I think you're very much in the running. Pippa. She certainly is in the running. In fact, she sprinted right ahead. Nicole, congratulations. You needed 13 to stay in it, and you've scored 15, which means you are our current leader. Congratulations on a she formidable looks round. Quietly, please. As she, as she sh- well should be, John, and her pacing really good there. She didn't let the, the few wrong answers here and there throw her off her, her stride, uh, which I think uh, played in her favor. That's uh, 
so a new high score of 15 to beat. It means we also say goodbye to Amber uh, with best wishes to her for the rest of her year and bring in contestant number four. The bar keeps on moving up. This is like watching a high jump competition, uh, John, and uh, seeing it nudge upward, ever upward. Now, the person who hopes to take over the leading spot is Julian Gombe, who is Thursday's junior brain of the day. She is also 13 years old. She'll be 14 this August and uh, lives in rugby. She's a pupil in grade eight at Holy Cross in Maitland. So also fresh to high school this year. Julie, how's your high school experience going so far? My high school experience was good and I'm enjoying it. I'm so relieved to hear it. That's good. Uh, this is the first time you've played Brain, is that correct? Yes. Okay. And of course, Julie's already won a thousand round earlier in the week by winning her daily uh, round. Um, you're another English fan, um, um, Julie. I believe it's your favourite subject. Yes, it is. Yes. Do you spend a lot of time reading? Yes, I do. That explains I, I the general lot. knowledge that's got you this far. Okay, and um, early days yet, but plans for the future? Do you have an idea of what you want to do? Um, yes, I would like to become a teacher and also I like reading books, so I'm also thinking of becoming an author. Oh, fantastic. Okay, well, all the best to you uh, for those ambitions and more importantly for this round uh, right now. Over to you, John. And uh, Pippa, the uh, listeners at home continue to be very invested in this. Somebody okay. tells me that any word can be used as a noun. So I'm asking that listener, please, to send me a sentence in which the word simply is used as a noun. I'd be very, very interested to find that out. Because yes, I'm, what is a simply? I'm I always, cannot picture yes, one. I'm yes. always looking to improve my knowledge of the English language. So if you can give me a sentence <laughs> which features the word simply as a noun, I would be immensely grateful. Julie, hello. Yes, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love readers. I love people who read and who want to write. But that doesn't mean I'm going to give you any favorable treatment. I hope you understand. That. Yes, I understand very well. Yeah. Um, you need 15 at least. Sudden deaths are quite exciting. So I. <laughs> <laughs> John wants one. John just wants to keep on talking for longer. <laughs> no, I don't. No. Um, John, look, it's exciting to see the bar nudge upward, 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 but that the, the tension of those final rounds where it's neck and neck, I agree with you, yeah. are a lot of fun. Not to say we don't want Julie to win out, right? Well, Julie, if you get 16 or 17, <laughs> my wife says, hey, simply come here. <laughs> okay. No bonus points for getting the joke so quickly, Julie, unfortunately. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, Mario, please start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word brilliant. B-R-I-L-L-A-N-T. I-A. Complete the movie title, Artemis, what? Pass. Foul. Give the sum of these two numbers, 13 and 14. 13, 14... 27. Correct. I mean... True or false, Africa has more people than South America. Two. Correct. How many A's are there in the word headmaster? Two. Correct. In what sport would players hit drop shots and aces? Pass. Tennis. Mag is a short word for which thin book? Pass. Magazine. Give the past tense of the word think. Thought. Correct. What color is Mike Wazowski in the animated movies? Pass. Green. Which country is in Southern Africa, Rwanda or Eswatini? Rwanda. Eswatini. For which small farm animal is the word kid used? A donkey. Goat. In what sport did Percy Tao become famous? Pass. Soccer. Which word is a noun, ability or above? Above. Ability. Complete the saying, you are skating on thin what? ice. Correct. Which province is further north in Pumalanga or Limpopo? Mpumalanga. Limpopo. In movies, what kind of big red animal is Clifford, who's owned by Emily Elizabeth? Pass. Dog. Which sport uses a lighter ball, golf or snooker? Golf. Correct. In a text messages, what do the letters TMI stand for? Do you know? Too much information. There, finally, we've got somebody. I was beginning to think that 13, 14, and 15 year olds don't, don't use that kind of text language like that. Yeah. anymore. Um, Artemis Fowl. I've heard of the book. I didn't know that made a movie out I'm of it. I'm in the same so boat I'm, as you, John. I'm yeah. 0 for yeah. 4 on that. Um, yeah, and then we went through a series of questions where, unfortunately, 
I suspect that if I were to ask you in an environment where there wasn't so much pressure, you would have had the answers easily, but sometimes this happens. And uh, you know, I'll add to that that sometimes it comes down to a guess. Julie had a lot of bad luck guesses uh, there, John. As you say, uh, with, with a pause more in a less stressed environment, I'm sure she would have uh, known a lot of those. A score of six, though, so not enough to topple Nicole from uh, the current leaderboard. So the, the high score remains for now at 15. And uh, Nicole, I hope you are crossing fingers, holding thumbs and everything else you want to do for luck there is one more person hoping to topple you from uh, your position at the top of the leaderboard and that is our friday junior brain of the day connor amsdorf who is also 14 years old another one turning 15 and in fact later this month connor so you've just squeezed into the age bracket uh first time you've played brain welcome yes this is my first time okay and i know you're from just down the road in mui point you're in grade nine at hertzley high school is that correct yes that is correct yeah. tell us a bit about yourself kind of favorite subjects things you love uh my favorite subjects are math and ems which is uh, accounting and business studies um in my spare time i like to play different sports cricket basketball and as well as spending time with my dogs and and in nature Okay, so that's a good broad range of interests. That should serve you well. Um, uh, good luck to you. So, Connor, just a reminder that the high score to beat is Nicole's score of 15. Good luck to you. Thank you. Okay, uh, 15 gets us that sudden death, which we sort of want, but we're not committed to. And if you get 16 or more, we will clap loudly for you. Um, what have you done with the 1,000 rand that you've won already? What, what, how do you have it earmarked? I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking. Okay, you're thinking to spend or to save? Currently to save. Ah, okay. well, EMS, maths, yeah, accounting, that something. stuff. <laughs> yes, business science, there we go. Connor, you need at least 15 to keep Junior Brain going for one more round. Are you ready? Yes. Mario, please start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word accident. A-C-C-I-D-E-N-T. Correct. Complete the title of the TV show, a series of unfortunate... Events. Correct. Give the product of these two numbers, six and eight. Fourteen. Forty-eight. True or false, Africa has a larger area than South America. True. Correct. How many A's are there in the word candidate? Two. Correct. In what sport would a player try to drive the ball onto the green? Golf. Correct. Varsity is a short word for which place? University. Correct. Give the past tense of the word no. Pass. New. What color is the body of the cartoon character Donald Duck? Yellow. White. Which country is in Southern Africa, Botswana or Cameroon? Botswana. Correct. For which farm animal is the word ram used? Uh, goat. Sheep. In what sport did Dwayne Vermeulen become famous? Rugby. Correct. Which word is a verb, slowly or learn? Learn. Correct. Complete the saying, fine feathers make fine? Pass. Birds. Which province is further south, Gauteng or Free State? Free State. Correct. In movies, what is the name of Nemo's father in Finding Me? Pass. Means Marlin. Which sport uses a heavier ball, baseball, baseball or cricket? Cricket. Correct. In a text message, what does the abbreviation BRB stand for? Be right back. Correct. Which country is in Africa, Afghanistan or Chad? Chad. Correct. On which ocean is the country Kenya? Indian. Correct. Which word is a synonym for bad? So we completed more questions to Connor than any other contestant. I got through 20, uh, 20 questions. I've not heard of the TV show, a series of unfortunate events. So at least I'm consistent. John, you've missed out. You've really missed out. Zero books for to go five with that on one that. as well. <laughs> yeah, if there were any book questions and I didn't know the answers to those, I'd feel ashamed and embarrassed. Um, yeah, you made the same uh, trouble. You made the same mistake as Matteo, thinking that product is the same as sum, because the product of six and eight is 48. Um, then new Donald Duck has a white body. Rams are male sheep. What are what are male goats? I know junior goats are kids. Um, I bucks is a billy goat. No, a billy? A billy? A billy, a billy, a billy, a billy. A buck, a buck. Several people saying a buck. Okay, they must be right. Fine feathers make fine birds. And did you know that Nemo's father's name is? I Marlon? did. I've seen Finding Nemo more times than I have had hot lunches, John. So <laughs> okay. yes. There we go. So I think I think that Connor must have been very, very close. Not quite sure exactly. He was so close. Oh, Connor, you've missed it by one. A score of 14. Uh, ah. Just one shy of the of the leaderboard, uh, but a very, very strong showing. Congratulations to you. Thank you.
Okay, and that means we need to get Nicole back in studio and say the warmest of congratulations to Nicole Mwembo Ben Mwembo with a score of 15. You are today's winner, and that means you have won 3,000 Rand and the right to call yourself the Junior Brain of the Week. Nicole, how does that feel? I'm feeling very um, happy that I won because I was very nervous. Well, you did an outstanding job. You didn't uh, say that. You said you <laughs> felt only a little bit of anxiety. <laughs> now you're telling the truth. Yeah. Well, clearly you do have a winning mind in a healthy body, and I'm sure all of your friends at Good Up Seminary High School will be celebrating the win with you, Nicole. Any idea what you're going to spend the money on? No, I don't. I, I, I don't know yet. I'm just going to save it for now. Well, good luck to you, and thank you for being a formidable contestant this morning. You are officially our junior brain of the week. You've won 3,000 rand thanks to Cape Talk and Diskem, a winning mind and a healthy body. Enjoy the rest of the weekend, Nicole. Thank you. And that is where we wrap up our junior round. Uh, so a reminder that the seniors are up next and that we're going to do all of this again same time next weekend. And if you are listening to this thinking, I could have got 17 on those questions, what are you waiting for? Head on over to our website and enter by playing the online general knowledge game. 32,000 Rand in prize money up for grabs in the junior brain of Cape Talk with Cape Talk and Diskem. Do you have a winning mind in a healthy body? Thank <laughs> you.